Uh, not really incredible weather, but it feels a lot better. The temperatures dropped off because of the showers and thunderstorms that were north of us here earlier on this afternoon. So it's a Ramby Factor 5 this evening. Tolerable. I know you're saying it's always tolerable, according to Bill. Um, but here's the deal. It's much more comfortable. I'd go higher than that, but we still will have a few light showers passing on through. We just had this move through recently. There are showers to the west of us. They're going to come through, but nothing very strong early this evening. Here are the thunderstorms that were north of us early this afternoon. Briefly had a severe thunderstorm warning up there. Washington County, Burt County. Well, they pushed an outflow slash front southward, and that has cooled the air. It's also taken away instability for thunderstorms for the time being over the metro. There are the showers in the last hour having pushed on through. Now we'll wait because there's a disturbance right through here. And as that has slid eastward, that's the main thunderstorm chance, Wisconsin, eastern Iowa. Now this has to yet come across Nebraska overnight. So in between, not that much going on. So while the Storm Prediction Center does still have this slight risk, including us, I think the main chance this evening over here east of Des Moines to the Quad Cities and then later on tonight, mainly south of Omaha. Here's how it looks on our storm predictor. That's not perfect, but watch it kind of diminishes the activity north of us and picks up storms to the south of us this evening, moves them to northwest Missouri. Then later tonight, 11 Lincoln, Tecumseh, Auburn, Shenandoah and then 2 a.m. Lincoln, Beatrice, Tecumseh, Auburn, Shenandoah, that area may be hit by repeated rounds of thunderstorms. And then by morning, some of those showers lift back up toward Omaha. So some rumbles of thunder here later on this evening, but for a few hours, just a spotty shower or two between now and nine. Looks worse than it is. It's 77. There's a little northeast breeze at five. The clouds there are downtown. So far, the high 90, the low current temperature 77. And at least at the airport, just three hundredths of an inch of rain from last night and today. But look at the cooling in here. That's from the afternoon thunderstorm activity and the only heat down here, Beatrice and Falls City. That's probably where we're going to spark off thunderstorms this evening with this activity along the front. So that goes east and then later on tonight, more showers and thunderstorms fill in near and south of Omaha. And then tomorrow, cooler north breezes, maybe a spotty shower coming in near or southwest of us late in the day, but temperatures way down tomorrow. So a 50% chance of thunder showers in Omaha, more likely uh, rain and thunderstorm activity to the south of us tonight. 70 the low, 72 at 8 a.m., still some showers around for the morning drive. And then for much of the day, just kind of partly to mostly cloudy, but by 4, near and southwest of Omaha, we might see a spotty shower. But just 83 degrees at 4 o'clock and a high temperature of 84 tomorrow. Friday, high of 87, low of 63. That's going to feel fantastic. Saturday. A low of 66 feels pretty good, and both Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're kind of accounting for Epley Airfield with the sunshine and light winds.